located. Nearby energy source located. Scanning surrounding space. Habitable targets near the star located. Scanning targets. Geothermal energy. Gravity. Minerals. Distance to star. Landing target selected. Initiating harvester cores. Starting planet fall. Harvester entering the atmosphere. Prepare for landing on the planet's surface. object has hit the ground south of the city. Eyewitnesses claim that it was some kind of spacecraft. Police and emergency services are en route to the impact site. This might be our first contact with an extraterrestrial civilization. Hey folks, welcome to TK's Gameplay. ...by local life forms, initiating the x -Morph fighter to scout the area. This is a game called x -Morph Defense. And I know it's not horror. This thing is kind of my, fine. Kind of my bag. Drive it away. But I also uh, the aliens are shooting at us. Call the army. I voiced this game, so I'm the, the main alien and some soldiers. So I figured it'd make sense for me to do a gameplay video of it. The first phase of the operation. Our goal is to build an energy harvesting infrastructure and to create a geodetic network encompassing the entire planet. The aliens are firing on civilians. We're sending rapid response units to stop them. Alpha yeah, no you are. ready for action. No you are. Let's shoot some aliens. <laughs> so in this game, you play the evil aliens destroying Earth. And it's sort of a mishmash between a shooter and a tower defense. Gunships thing. attacking the alien. And this game has been a blast to work on because I've got to see it in a, in a couple phases and play it before it was out, so I got to. Uh, Check out my voice work and worked with uh, the studio to sort of tweak the sound of it. Uh, the alien and uh, jet fighters in the zone attacking the aliens. We had a couple different iterations and they came up with a really cool effect. I'll take these aliens. Jet fighters Dude, ETA down. three seconds. So you got to defend your core. That's one of the big things. And eventually we start setting up power defense. Rapid response forces have been destroyed. We are sending ground recon units before the main attack. These vehicles are a threat to our harvester core. Destroy them before they can reach it. You know I will. So, you know, as most games, it starts off pretty simple, aliens. but it starts getting more and more complicated, and paths can change midway through scenarios, so... Humvee team engaging hostile. Oh. Recognize that guy. Is it? Oh, see? Sometimes they sneak in, they start driving around the core. We gotta drive these things up. Ain't gonna be tagging my core. Here I come, baby. Those tanks out of there. The invaders destroyed all of our reconnaissance forces with ease. We have to stop them before they destroy the whole city. Prepare a joint air and ground strike force. Yeah. You guys ain't gonna stand up. Pathetic little humans. Native defense forces are stronger than we anticipated. 
Their attack paths have been calculated. We have placed a defensive tower to help you. Defend the core at all costs. So this voice is actually a vamp on... Uh, okay, well, I'll get back to that. First, I need to set up my base here. So, let's see. So here is where they're going to come. And what you can do is you can set up these little things. And uh, again, it gets more complicated later on. But for now, what, we can put down six of these guys. So, like pretty good spot. Towers uses resources from the core. Each tower uses one resource unit. You gain more resources by destroying waves of enemy units. And you got enough resources to plop one more down. Uh, I like putting them somewhere near here, so if there's one of those little rotating jerks, you still have time to, to go. So if I can call the right buttons, there we go. Light Mobile Squad reporting. Advancing to target rapidly. It won't make a difference. We'll shoot you down. So the voice uh, ended up with the main alien. Here. Light ground recon team moving towards alien base. Is that the vamp on the uh, units are being shot down? Cinema voice. I Sort of created a Air support, of, attacking aliens. Uh, for a Halo machine called Olympia Shane. It's for one of the, the big bad guys. And I had an okay effect that I used, but the, the studio here, XOR Studios, who made this game, came up with a much cooler effect. But when I'm actually recording the voice, it's uh, it, this is sort of what it sounds like. Humans coming in. Coming for us Warning. now. We are anticipating a stronger enemy attack wave. You can build additional defense towers. So it sounds totally goofy when I do it, but you throw that effect on there and it starts sounding pretty cool. Good spot. As you can see, uh, two of these lanes are going to intersect right there, so it, you get some opportunity to smack down on both of them. You can actually get more complicated later on, uh, but I'm not going to go there quite yet. Uh, but yeah, this game is really, really quite fun. Again, uh, I'm not uh, in any way unbiased because I'm part of this game, so, you know, don't take this as an actual review because... We're sending more <laughs> units in the second attack wave. Uh, because this is Armored I'm units will be ready to strike in the next wave. Light ground support moving fast. Confirming visual on the enemy. But when you're out here flying around, you kind of got your attack mode right here, or you can go into a, essentially a stealth mode. Humvee uh, team engaging you can't get to that point, but you also can affect it. Uh, you can also set up more towers in the middle of Air the fight that way, too. Experiencing heavy losses. Jet fighters in the zone, attacking the aliens. So if you're about to get uh, destroyed, you can uh, do that you can slowly regenerate. Painfully slow uh, at <laughs> times. But it does work. Gunships attacking the alien. And something that's super useful to do is to check your map from time to time. Detecting heavier enemy units. We have to block the direct attack path with a laser fence. Defense towers with laser fences to make enemy paths longer and to gain time during the attack. And this is where it starts to get a little more interesting because you start uh, guiding these uh, these attacks. So you, you can see how they're going to flow. Uh, obviously, they set up one right here, but you can even further guide things. So let's set one up like right here and set up. See if I can pull this guy off. Move him. And. Or maybe I'm not able to do those quite yet. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay, yep, you can. So, that should redirect that route. So now you can see that that route moved around this way. Uh, so, that's a little bit longer that you can send these enemies that way. And let's start it up. The aliens have begun to expand their base and are raising new structures. Yes, we Armored are. units are on site <laughs> and ready to spearhead the next attack wave. They should get past those towers. Tank Brigade reporting. Meeting in some. Gunship off scene, ready to begin mission. Tank joining the attack. You can also do some charged up attacks, which obviously take longer to shoot, but uh, they do some control. pretty Attacking damn the impressive aliens. damage there. Attacking the alien. Humvee team engaging hostile. My health is getting a little bit low here, so I'm gonna lay a little bit low. And uh, get, if I can regenerate without losing too much core. Air support ready. Watch your back. Over. Now later on it starts getting even more interesting because with bigger buildings you can actually topple them losses. down and use them to get in the pads. So uh, your destruction can Strong actually serve purposes other than just tool explosions. Using enemy paths is key to an effective defense. Use laser fences to make their paths longer. To create a laser fence, first build two defense towers close to each other. Highlight one of the towers and select it to display the action menu. Select the Connect Laser Fence. Select the tower to which you want to connect the fence and confirm. You can freely modify laser fence connections between defense towers. Building laser fences is free. Use them to make enemy paths longer. Oh yes, I will. That's about the longest path we can do but what we will do is set up some more uh, some more baddies along the way so they just keep getting plucked at as they go by there's a lot uh, a lot of room a lot of room to do a lot of damage and what's another good spot sure let's uh let's give them a little choke spot right there Around around the alien structure is being covered with a strange metal, and we are observing an increasing number of alien towers. Unobtainium. It looks like their base is growing. These aliens are definitely hostile. We can't let them spread. Civilian casualties are secondary. Prepare a stronger assault force. Thanks oh, snap. See? These humans are evil. It's all good to take them out. They're not even worried about civilians. It's like the army signed their death warrant. <laughs> These big tanks start to suck though. Air support attacking aliens. Oh. oh, I forgot about these little bad guys. See? It pays attention to watch the map, even just for routes. Not for long. I know me. Attack over. So that charge up can be pretty slick. You can take out just a big old horde of bad guys. Humans. Jet fighters in the zone. Attack the aliens. Boom. The aliens 
are using advanced tactics against our forces. <laughs> we have to attack them from several directions at once. We're sending everything we've got at the alien core. If this doesn't work, we'll have to authorize the use of Tarantula Mark V. Warning. You wouldn't dare. A very dare. strong attack is incoming. You can freely move towers or build new ones to shape enemy paths. It is recommended to make their paths as long as possible. So, what I'm gonna do, so I don't uh, pull that same stupid move I just did, is set it up right there. And let's make a fence. Oh, that guy. There we go. And I will move this guy over here to put a little more firepower down as they come by. And that should. Uh, Ah, let's put one more over there. Why not? A little something else. Come here, bro. So you can do this with mouse and keyboard, or you can do it with uh, joystick and, or gamepad. And I actually prefer the joypad. Um, so it's just more fun when you're shooting to use the joypad. Armor squad ready to deploy. The so you can use it kind of twin stick style. Air support, your location, one minute. Nasty tanks. They'll start doing a lot of damage. Light ground support moving fast. Confirming visual on the enemy. Air support engaging hostile. Alright, jerks. You're going down. Damn. I just love that charge up shot. One of the big tricks is to, when you're lining up those shots, trying to take as little damage as possible because uh, um, if you get destroyed, you, you'll regenerate back at your core, but it takes a little while and you'll be taken out of sort of little combat that you were in, so it's very helpful to stay alive. This is just the first, you know, mission area, and it gets way more complicated after this. You have tech trees you can put points into. You can open up a bunch of different weapons. Destroyed. Reinforcements won't be here in time. I know. We must use our weapon of last <laughs> resort. I'm authorizing the use of Tarantula Mark V. You General, wouldn't. there's still civilians in the city. Can you confirm the order? I say again. Initiate Tarantula Mark V. No, you wouldn't. We have no choice. If we lose, the civilians will have no chance to evacuate. God damn it, General. Tarantula Mark V, ready for battle. Heading towards the alien base. So this is where environments can fall down on your towers and your towers can get destroyed as well as by enemies. Yes, sir. So that's where you can start doing some creative environmental destruction, uh, and it gets gets pretty fun. You can also kind of hide behind buildings, and <laughs> but eventually it'll start doing damage to the buildings. Hi over here. The aliens collapsed a building yeah. on our path. Heat signatures indicate that there are still life civilians inside. Let's try to go around. No, you won't, Tarantula. 
leg critically damaged. We have to stop and rebalance the platform load onto the other legs. Nope, there goes the building. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying. Gunship's attacking the alien. Gotta start playing ZZ Top's legs right now. Got legs! Woo! There's actually multiple ways to work on this guy. Take out some of the weapons. You know, can I take a building out on him? Nope. Oh. So this is what happens when your ship blows up. And I will defend it. They're my alien cores. Come hither. Most fun Main things I found is to uh, oh, there you go, there we go, nice. Ha. Collapser right on him. Oh, don't you worry. Second leg damaged. Tarantula is stopping for load rebalancing. Call in air support. Jet fighters ETA three seconds. So, as you can see, it starts getting pretty intense. Uh, pretty loco. Let's just take that thing out. Never cared for missiles coming at my face anyway. Lizard missile launcher destroyed. Changing attack yeah. pattern. <laughs> I never actually tried taking out the head all by itself. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nice. nice. We're receiving serious damage. Right Make on all me. integrity at 50%. Scarantula. Working on it. You will come down, Tarantula. Tarantula damage critical. Main hull integrity at 25%. Gonna take this main hull down. <laughs> so, um, try not to run right into it. That's uh, what I recommend. So you can see those things are highlighted in red, so you know that they are in the direct path of something that can destroy them. There'll be uh, other enemies in the future that can drop bombs and destroy your towers, so it, it can make a lot of sense to move your towers before they get destroyed. <laughs> it's far easier to take out the legs on that uh, tarantula than to shoot out the main thing, but there's a couple different ways you can uh, go about it. Tarantula has been annihilated. All remaining units retreat. We have to fall back and regroup. We have squashed the spider. Congratulations. Despite the surprise attack, you fended off all enemy units. Yes, I did. You didn't expect to encounter intelligent life forms. However, the harvest no, is still wouldn't call them intelligent. Land, and we must continue. The next cores are approaching the atmosphere according to the planetary assimilation schedule. Move your consciousness to the next landing site. I will. Victory. So that's the game. I think I'll uh, maybe just do a series on it. Uh, 
because the game's pretty fun and hopefully you guys like it. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to keep doing it uh, and, and what your reactions are. And thanks for joining me. Fun game. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. And by the way, pick it up on Steam, PlayStation, or Xbox. That's my shameless plug right there. But I'll, I'll take this is a little diversion from Resident Evil 5. I'll come back to Resident Evil 5 when I'm done with this, but uh, I figured, you know, I could hopefully advance my voice acting career a little bit if I support the games that have supported me. So, uh, yeah, giving some shout outs here. So, again, thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you soon.